Yo guys, it's Andrew back with another episode of Survival Saturdays and of course this week we're playing some Minecraft and we're going to continue with our vault project that we did uh, two weeks ago. So if you guys don't remember, two weeks ago we pretty much dug out an entire area that goes underneath uh, Rayquaza and the Pagoda and it basically serves as an area for us to put our variables and whatnot. So it's going to be made out of obsidian and it's going to be an elder guardian and all of that. So the first update I'm going to give you guys is not related to the vault. It's actually related to the pathway. So as you remember from the last episode, over here it's full of stone. It's super ugly and there were signs that saying it's like construction in progress or something like that. So now as I enter, you guys can see the design has changed. Even the door, there's a new face on the other side, completely different from the other side, which is wood. As you can see, this side is wood and this side is its own different design. So, as you can see over here, the design is completely different. We have Deep Slate. It's, I'm going for a dark theme sort of thing. So it looks creepy and it also blends in nicely with the black concrete. Now, now, if you guys also remember, there was an area that was across the river in the middle of the island. And that part, we filled up with glass temporarily because we didn't know what to do with it. And now, as you can see, I filled up with glass, I made the sides, I made some like railings of glass panes and below there's a little showcase area with corals and whatnot. I think I put some fish in here but they don't seem to be down there. Maybe I'm tripping somewhere but well, if they're not there then they are probably dead somehow. But yeah, as you can see, we can see up there, there's gonna be like a really pretty light coming through if the sun's on top. But unfortunately the sun isn't here so you can't really see much and yeah. If, if you go forward, you can just see it's the blackness of the black concrete. And if you go further, if my shocker boxes weren't there, you actually won't even notice the piston door on the right side. So let us go there real quick. And as you can see, you really don't notice this piston door. But once you switch armor, as you can see, it opens right up and we are into the library. So now in the library, we are preparing to dig out the area underneath right here. So this area down here is going to be the pistons. So we're going to throw items in here and a minecart hopper will pick up that item. If it's the right password, it will drop you to, a, to the right drop zone. If it's wrong, it will just kill you and those items will be recycled into the vault. Now I have some scaffolding as well as some torches here just to facilitate the digging down there. And before we start the digging and show you guys the time lapse of the digging, I want to show you guys this little shelf that I did up right now. Let's get some items out of the way. So I have this shelf called Minecraft Law. I'm going to try to fill up the rest of this bookshelf as well. I don't know what to do with them, but for now I have a uh, chat GPT writing up some stories for Minecraft Law. So if you take up this book right here, as you can see it's about the wither and it's about how the wither came to be, how people like found it out and all that kind of stuff and this whole entire section is going to be dedicated to Minecraft lore. We have like nine other sections. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven other sections and I am completely lost as to what to fill it up with. But well, I shall see. Anyways, it's probably going to be ChatGPT writing up some ridiculous stories or maybe some of my friends from the servers can write some ridiculous stories. But with that being said guys, we are going to continue with the time lapse to dig out this area and I hope you enjoy. I'll see you guys after the time lapse.
All right, guys, the time lapse is done. And as you can see, this area has not changed at all. Why is because I actually built the area, but I kind of couldn't find the footage. Like, I don't know where it went. It probably got lost or I forgot to save it or some something like that. But anyway, we did build the area down here. It's honestly not much. You guys didn't really miss much because it's just like this much obsidian from negative 17 all the way up to whatever level this is to Y50. It's literally just a single tube of obsidian. If you don't recall from my last two videos, if, I, if I'm not wrong, when I showcase the vault, it's literally just a drop shelf of obsidian that goes to the left if you go to the right way. And that part hasn't really been built yet. It's lit I literally just did a straight tube of obsidian with the redstone for the piston door. And that's about it. Literally about 10 to 15 minutes of building an obsidian tube straight up. So honestly, you guys didn't miss much. I don't even regret not putting it in there because there's literally nothing to do. But the next part will have something really interesting because we're making a 10 by 10 piston door that works on a flying machine. Anyway, last talking aside, now we have an actual working drop shaft and I kind of don't want to die. So let me throw in, let me throw in an arrow. An arrow is not the right item. And if you throw it in there, you are for sure to die. So let's see. It's going to open up and as you can see that never right piston door down there opens up as well and that just leads to a drop shaft all the way down if we throw the right password which i'm gonna do secretly here okay so i have this password on my hand right now you all don't know why it, what it is you, you probably know it's probably stone but you don't know what the name is and if i throw this as you can see this opens up but that piston door down there the never right one does not open up so you're safe and you can proceed forward with wherever you need to go of course, I didn't go there right now because there's nothing there. I would be trapped if I go there. I have to probably get out with spectator mode. But yeah, that, that, that's basically it. That's, that's what we have done. So interestingly enough, let me break this real quick. Interestingly enough, I dug out a really, really large area, but I only used like, I don't know, 10% of it. But well, that's probably for the next part of the build where we will build the 10 by 10 piston door as well as the Elder Guardian chamber, which is going to be a pain in the ass because I need to capture Elder Guardian live. And I'll probably do that on stream because it's super interesting. Okay, it's a super interesting stream to something interesting to stream about because, well, you don't see anyone capturing Elder Guardians ever, like ever. You know what? I'll take that back. Maybe people have captured Elder Guardians, but it's not every day that you see someone capture Elder Guardians, right? But yeah, I think that should be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys do, please do drop a like and subscribe. Of course, click that notification bell so you know the when part 3 is coming out. And with that being said, guys, thanks for watching and peace out.